Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now let us take the next example. We have a region enclosed by y axis, a curve x equal to f of y now. We are taking x equal to f of y looking it from the y axis and the lines y equal to a and y equal to b. Now such a region is revolved about y axis. So it falls into place because x and y are interchanged here that is the only trick here. Then the volume of revolution has to be the limits in y and the disk is pi into f of y square then dy. So, that is clear from the our earlier analysis. Okay. Instead of x we are taking y here. So, by using this we are going to solve a problem which is revolving around y axis instead of x axis. So, now find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region between the y axis. So, this is y axis and the curve x equal to 2 divided by y, this is the curve for uh, the portion of the curve for what 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 4. So, that is this is the portion of the curve that is being revolved around y axis. So, you look at this it is revolve around y axis. So, you get a solid which is painted green here just on the second picture. We want to find such a volume. So, we just go back to our formula because this is generating a disk here as that slice becomes a disk easily due to the revolution around y axis. So, and here x is a function of y. So, it is pi times f of y square which is pi 2 divided by y square. So, volume is simply 1 to 4 pi times 2 divided by y whole square dy and it is so it is 4 pi square for uh, 4 pi uh, divided by y square and this is to be integrated 1 by y square has the integral as minus 1 by y therefore, it is 4 pi minus 1 by y evaluated at 1 and 4 and then subtracted. So, if you simplify you would get the answer as 3 pi. So, now you see we can also do this while subtracting uh, while revolving uh, some reason around y axis. Okay. Fine. So, let us see one more problem. Here you want to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving about y axis the region enclosed by the curve y equal to 4 by pi tan inverse x. So, the curve is given in terms of y equal to f of x, but we are revolving about y axis and what is the region? The curve region is bounded by y equal to 4 by pi tan inverse x the y axis and the line y equal to 1. So, everything is given in terms of y only the curve is given y as a function of x that should not be a problem. So, let us see x equal to uh, we can write x equal to tan of pi by 4 y instead of y equal to 4 by pi tan inverse x. So, now everything is expressed in terms of y x is a function of y we have the limits for y as y equal to 1 and what is the other point that of course, you have to find out that will be the intersection of the curve along the uh, and the y axis right. So, which is turns out to be 0. Okay. So, this is the region we have found that region is revolved around 
y axis. So, you would get something like this a cone type, but it is not exactly a cone. So, the curve is x equal to tan pi y by 4 and the volume should be equal to 0 to 1 pi. So, it is pi f of y square d y and then to be integrated from the limits for y. So, it is integral 0 to 1 on the y axis pi tan square pi y by 4 d y fine and that we have to evaluate now. To evaluate what we do it is tan square pi y by 4. So, we substitute pi y by 4 equal to say u then d u becomes pi by 4 d y and when y equal to 0 we get u equal to uh, 1 right when y equal to 0 u is also equal to 0 not 1 right u equal to 0 and when y equal to 1 we get pi divided by 4 this one is correct fine. So, our volume will be equal to integral 0 to in terms of u integral 0 to uh, pi by 4 and then it is pi times uh, pi times d y. So, d y becomes 4 uh, d u right pi was already there. So, you have 4 d u and this is tan square u. Okay. So, our volume is 0 to pi by 4 4 times tan square u d u which is 4 times second square u minus 1 times d u. We just rewrite it tan square u as second square u minus 1 because we know the integral of second square will be tan that gives you tan u for second square u and 1 becomes u right and 0 to pi by 4. So, you have a 4 here that constant and that when simplified gives you 4 minus pi fine. So, sometimes the curve might be given as y equal to f of x, but if you can find it out that x in terms of y then that simplifies to uh, obtain the volume. Okay. So, let us take the next problem. Uh, find the volume of the solid generated by revolving about the y axis, the region bounded by the lines x equal to 0, y equal to 1 and the curve x equal to square root of 2 y divided by y square plus 1. So, here the limits of y are not given explicitly here, we may have to find out but it is written x equal to 0 that is the y axis right and it is revolve around y axis. So, that falls into place we have y equal to 1 and we need the other limit fine. So, if you plot it looks something like this that x equal to square root of 2 y divided by y square plus 1 gives this curve and then it has to be revolved about y axis first the region. So, the region is bounded by line x equal to 0 which is the y axis y equal to 1. So, which is the top one here this line and the curve. So, that gives nicely the region and this region is revolved uh, uh, around uh, y axis fine. So, when it is y axis it will be our earlier one that integral a to b pi f of y square d y. So, that is pi x square really. So, then what are the limits? We have limit as x uh, for y on the top we have already 1 and the down we see that the intersection of this curve with y axis if you take the y axis and the intersection both are same. So, you would get y equal to 0. Therefore, the lower limit for y is 0. Then the volume is expressed at 0 to 1 pi times square root 2 y divided by y square plus 1 whole square d y and it is a matter of computing the integral now. So, how do we compute the integral? It is square root of 2 y divided by y square plus 1. So, y square plus 1 is creating problem on the numerator uh, denominator. Okay. So, what do we do? We substitute u equal to y square plus 1. So, once we substitute you get d u equal to 2 y d y and let us find the limits when y equal to 0 uh, y equal to 0 u equal to 1 
and when y equal to 1 u equal to 2 that is right. So, we rewrite the uh, integral now it is integral from in u 1 to 2 and then this is uh, this is uh, square root of it is 2 y dy and we have made the square. So, let us write the integral first it will be easier to see pi times this is really 2 y divided by y square plus 1 square and d y that is the reason we have put y square plus 1 as u. So, now this gives uh, 2 y d y d y is d u and y square plus 1 square on the denominator gives u to the power minus 2 limits are 1 to 2 and that is the correct integral. Now, this can be integrated u to the power minus 2 gives minus 1 by u evaluated at the limits 1 and 2 subtracted. So, that simplifies to pi divided by 2. Okay. So, this is how we will be proceeding let us take may be one more problem. So, here we want to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving about the line y equal to root 2 it is not any axis it is a line now that is another line not the axis y equal to root 2 and what do we revolve the region in the first quadrant bounded above by the line y equal to root 2 that same line. So, it is really touching that uh, that line the axis of revolution is really one of the boundaries and below by the curve y equal to y equal to second x into tan x right and then the left by the y axis. So, how does it look? We have the region this is y equal to we have the region as in the first quadrant bounded above by the line y equal to root 2 and uh, below by the curve y equal to second x and tan x it is this curve and on the left by the y axis. So, this is the region fine this region is revolved about the line y equal to root 2 not about y axis, but about this line. So, it may term something like this and it is revolve around this. So, the areas will be cross sectional areas will be looking like this fine. We want to find the volume of that solid it is only we are doing is revolving it around y equal to root 2 ok fine. So, now what is this cross sectional area? So, that cross sectional area will have some radius when you take x here the point is x. So, it is point x what is the radius of that we want to find out this radius. So, that is really root 2 this side is root 2 minus this side which is on the white. So, that is the curve y equal to sec x plus into tan x. So, the radius is equal to this radius is equal to root 2 minus second x into tan x fine. So, we get this disc whose area is root 2 minus second x tan x whole square times pi that is the area. Therefore, volume equal to 0 to pi by 4 why it is pi by 4 because when y equal to root 2 that is the intersection of the line y equal to root 2 and the curve y equal to second x into tan x gives us x equal to pi by 4 that is you just write root 2 minus second x tan x. So, that gives you x equal to pi by 4 fine. So, once you get that point you have you know the limits for x which is from 0 to that pi by 4. So, volume is 0 to pi by 4 into pi times the radius square root 2 minus second x tan x square dx. Now, we want to evaluate this integral. So, pi goes out 0 to pi by 4 remains and we expand that root 2 minus sec x tan x square which gives 2 plus sec square x plus tan square x minus 2 into uh, 
root 2 there is no 3 here 2 into root 2 second test tan x dx. Now, we integrate. So, integration of 2 is uh, 2x integration of sec square x into tan square x gives you tan cubed x by 3. How is it? So, here you have to take say tan x as u. So, that tan square x and second square x dx becomes du. So, it is tan cubed x divided by 3 net u cubed by 3. Of course, if you differentiate you get back that and then integral of second x tan x is second x and we have the constant as 2 root 2. Okay. So, that is how it looks and they are to be evaluated at 0 to pi by 4 and then subtracted. So, that simplifies to pi times pi by 2 plus 2 root 2 minus 11 by 3. So, you see it is pretty straightforward though it is called disk method always you have to think of the slice method. But only thing is that the cross sectional area becomes a disk that is why the name. Okay. Let us see the next problem. Here we want to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region between the parabola x equal to y square plus 1. So, this is the parabola x equal to y square plus 1. Uh, here is the parabola x equal to y square plus 1 and the line x equal to 3 this is the line x equal to 3 about the line x equal to 3. Okay. So, we have x equal to y square plus 1 which is the parabola this parabola is revolved around line x equal to 3. So, now you should get the radius, radius is made blue here uh, sorry pink it is written here radius. So, what is that radius at any y point y the curve is x equal to y square plus 1. So, at, at any y this length is equal to uh, y square plus 1, but this length is already it is the line x equal to 3. So, the radius is 3 minus y square plus 1 which is equal to 2 minus y square. So, since this radius is 2 minus y square we would get the cross sectional area which is the disc which is pi into 2 minus y square square. Now, what are the limits of integration? So, you must find these two points it is on the line uh, x equal to 3. So, we find out where x equal to 3 intersects the curve x equal to y square plus 1. So, we get y square plus 1 equal to 3 that gives y equal to plus or minus root 2. So, y is minus root 2, y is plus root 2 these are the intersection points. Correspondingly, if you compute x they will be equal to 3 fine. So, the intersection points are 3 minus root 2 to 3 root 2 and we are integrating with respect to y. So, we just take minus root 2 to root 2. Fine. So, we can write the volume as minus root 2 to root 2 pi into 2 minus y square square dy. And now, you have to obtain the integral expand it that gives 4 plus y fourth minus 2 y square expanding that whole square and pi remains. And now, 4 as the integral as 4 y y fourth as y fifth by 5 minus 2 y square gives minus 4 by 3 y cubed and it is multiplied by pi evaluated at root 2 and minus root 2 then subtract it. If you simplify you would obtain 64 pi root 2 divided by 15 as the answer. Okay. So, let us stop here.